We're on the sidelines of the OECD's 2016 Integrity Forum. Uh, I'm joined now by Klaus Musmeier, Chair of the Business and Industry Advisory Committee uh, at the Anti-Corruption uh, Task Force and, of course, Siemens Chief Compliance Officer. Klaus, very nice to see you here. Thank you very much indeed for talking with us. Uh, let's talk about the context first. Mm. Panama Papers. Um, to what extent has that really reinforced the need for greater transparency, more regulation? Yeah, Axel, I think transparency is the key. If you talk about Panama, it's about transparency in business dealings. And it's clearly a, a showcase for the need of international collaboration. And the industry and the business will support this effort. So we are open for all discussions and support in this area. It's always about greater multilateral collaboration and cooperation. Mm. Everyone talks about it, but we're not seeing nearly enough. That's clearly the message from the Commission as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you optimistic? We'll see some more. Look, one thing is enforcement. But the other thing is talking to each other, collaboration. That's my big motto, mm. public sector and private sector. We mm. have to talk to each other, exchange best practices and experiences. This is important. Any, on the trade specific, because of course the focus here is on trade, any chance we're going to see, again with the Panama Papers in mind, a great leveling of, of, of tax jurisdictions to ensure a, a fairer trade environment? I mean, trade is so important for the economic growth uh, of in this planet, of society. So it's extremely important. And corruption is one of the big, I mean, obstructions, the big problems we have in trade. And what I, I want, I think what is important is we need specific action items. One thing is big declarations, but we need specific collective action, joint private public sector. I mm -hmm. think this is the way how we can approach this. Any particular industries or countries do you think which are more vulnerable uh, right now to corruption? I mean, I'm not a fan of saying here's the bad countries and the good countries. But maybe we need a little bit more of that. Yeah, but we need a collaboration. And I think we need to, we need to get away from this, this issue of not talking to each other. I mean, the countries, I think, are more open to discuss. And I see more and more collective action in, uh, in difficult countries and in, in where we have problems in, 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 in the border controls and the customs. Mm. We have specific collective action approaches there in certain countries, and that's a good thing. For many companies, the biggest opportunities, I imagine, to improve sustainability performance exist in the supply chains. Yeah. Um, who should organizations be working with? We talk about collaboration to amplify their efforts in that space. Yeah. I mean, the OECD is the ideal platform to foster the dialogue. I mean, who else in the OECD should, should do it? There's the business, there's the public side, civil society, Integrity Week. Uh, this week, that's a perfect platform to discuss this. What do you think supply chains will look like in 10, 20, 50 years' time? Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a difficult question. <laughs> I, I believe we will certainly have more transparency in the supply chain. That's clear, but that's a big demand mm. to know who's mm. a supplier, sub-supplier, sub-sub-supplier. But it's only possible if the industry and the, the states are working together. Mm. Industry can do the diligence and screening, but we have to know who is behind the other company, who is behind there, and that's a joint approach. Are you more optimistic now, uh, Klaus, just to finish up with, more optimistic now than you were, say, five years ago? We need more... Because, of course, Siemens has had a long history of... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, this, we had a big case, and, and, and we tried to do the right thing and to clean up. And I, I'm optimistic because we read more about corruption. We read and we see more about corruption. That's good. That's good because if it's more transparent, there mm -hmm. will be more enforcement, there will be more action more companies and states will follow to do the right thing. That's a good thing to read and talk about it. Klaus, thank you very thank much you indeed for talking with us. Thank Klaus you. Uh, Musmeier, um, uh, Head of Compliance at Siemens. I'm Axel Threlfall here at the uh, OECD Integri uh, Integrity Forum.